Coach, uh, thank you very much for your time and congratulations 3 nil in what uh, we expected to be a tough game. It was indeed a very good and tough game. Uh, can you have your assessment of it, please? No, it, it was a very, very tough game. Um, I just think 3 nil is not a true reflection of the game. I think the game was more tighter than that. Um, yeah, at, at one nil, they also got a penalty. You know, had they scored, the game would have changed the complexion, you never know. But yeah, the resilience from the boys, you know, to say we are going to defend the lead and, and try to have options maybe to consolidate and get another goal and put ourselves in a situation to be on the lead and, and, and at the end win the match. And we're able to achieve that. Uh, coach, coming into this game, uh, both teams well coached, ball playing sides who look to dominate and control the game. Coming to this game with that knowledge, what was the, the approach tactically from m the, the, the approach was to first defensively to have a high press, knowing that uh, they want to build up from the back, come up with the ball, you know, from one face to the next with the ball. And uh, we knew that that was going to happen. To be, to be honest with you, we did not do that as well as we should have. We had a lot of situations where we were really not aggressive on the press. Uh, we were very late on the press, we were not aggressive. The distances between the lines in our midfield, you know, we were, we were open actually, so we allowed them to play through. But yeah, in terms of our approach was to press high and make sure that... Uh, uh, but, but to give credit also, we scored a, a third goal, I think, from Makani, the second goal goal too, from the press. You yes, know, yes. yeah, Eto pressed the keeper, Makani continued with the press. We recover the ball we scored at least we scored a goal from what we have trained what we have done in training in terms of our approach but for the better part of our game i think we could have done a lot better in in, in that regard uh, coach i noted uh, i think it was my first time seeing uh, umulu be playing at left back i'm used to him playing in the center uh, and he was coming against a very speedy winger, Uchipa. Yeah. Uh, and I'm sure coming to this game, you knew that. What was the reasoning behind that? Yeah, we, we, we knew that. And uh, we actually had, okay, our, our left back, Usia, also um, he got injured at the training. We said, okay, yes, maybe defensively is not the best to Melo, but he can help us with the ball, you know. So we had to take that risk. and But also, Knowing that we have Paseka on the left as a left centre back with his intelligence, we'll be able to cover two men, you know. So we worked on that. We knew that uh, that player is going to be quick. But with that, we thought, but two men also, this is good for your own personal development, you know. Um, can, can you try and get better in terms of uh, your defensive action? You know, this game will actually uh, challenge you. But it's up to you, you know, to pass the challenge or not, you know. Will not uh, babysit you and say, ah, but Tumelo is more of a ball player, more of a, a central midfielder, more than a left back. But yeah, for your personal development, I mean, you can play left back. You can give us a lot of options with the ball, you know. But defensively, you got to also fight and win your duels, you know, so that you can also develop defensively, you know. But uh, I think he has done very, very well. Though in a lot of situations, yes, that player is quality and speed, we could see. But how brilliant was Paseka in terms of giving that cover to Tumelo and it's something that we have worked on the training you know so I think we're really spot on today and, and you must be happy coach when you when you work on something at training and the boys go out and execute as per the plan yeah no we, we're really excited but you know we we always demand uh, we, we could have played better today I still feel that uh, uh, on the ball we're not as calm and composed especially in our midfield uh, midfield there uh, are turnovers a lot I think we could have played a lot better with the ball. We could have um, controlled and played with the ball a little better. I think we were really panicking on the ball. We took a wrong decision most of the time because of panic, you know. We're not calm, especially when we progress. Because we had a lot of situations in a counter transition moment of a 4v3, 3v2. But we're not really composed on the ball. And it's something that we still need to continue to work on. Yeah, it looks like it's a comfortable win, but there's just there's still a lot of areas for improvement. Hey, Coach, talking about uh, the fact that you are not as comfortable on the ball as you would want, uh, we know most every season you get you know the team changes you got new boys and younger boys yeah and this was a very big game a big stage uh, do you perhaps say the anxiety of the game could have affected the way you played yeah yeah i think i think you're spot on i think the anxiety it's a big game for them 
um, yeah, I think they can only get better from this. I think from this experience, now come second round, they know what is expected. I think they, they I think they, they, they'll be better than what, what we have showed today. Yeah. As much as it's a comfortable win, but yeah, it's, there's still a, a long way to go. There's still a lot of uh, elements in our game that we still need to improve. But yeah, we are really excited and we are happy uh, about the win. Last one, coach. I, I know coaches don't like to single out players or focus on one player. But second half substitute, Akani came on the left, caused havoc, scored a brace. We, we always know that he possesses this quality. I think also, I'm not sure if we're playing here or at home against Pele Pele, he scored a very beautiful goal. Cutting inside, almost similar actions. He's got these actions. For me, the exciting part that he was able to, to complete the actions, you know. We, we fight with Akani a lot to say, Akani, you have a very good dribble, a succession ratio, success, uh, su success ratio of his dribble. Four out of five times, one v one, he will dribble past the player, but he does not complete the action, you know, in terms of maybe finding the right pass or cutting inside to score. You know, today, today I'm happy because after a successful dribble, he was able to score, which is a big, big, big plus for us. He needs to continue from this because he's one of the best when it comes to one v one dribbling. The, 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 the critical part for us is that he does not complete the actions. But today he gave us two goals from a dribble and complete the action. So uh, the sky is the limit. I think he can only get better from this. Coach, thank you very much for your time and all the best going forward. No, you're most welcome. Thank you.